Hey everyone, it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear. I'm here with Allie for a little bit of a unconventional uh, roast of the month <laughs> coffee tasting. Um, we hope that everyone is out there staying safe. Uh, we're doing the same thing by yeah. talking about our coffee over a video call instead of in the studio. <laughs> um, it's a little peculiar, but I think I think it'll work well. I'm excited yeah. to do it. Yeah, cool. All right. So this month, our roast of the month is the Mapanga Honey Burundi from Victrola Coffee Roasters. Allie's got the bag. I know it's a little bit hard to read. Video quality is video quality. <laughs> um, Try as best you can. <laughs> so we've also got uh, we've got kind of a double header for roast of the month. We're also featuring the washed process um, version of the same coffee, uh, Mapanga Washed, uh, which is also a Burundi. Um, because it's a cool study in kind of processes to take a look at both of them and um, and try tasting both of them. Um, so yeah. I thought we could start maybe. Well, which what do you, which one do you want to start with, the honey or the wash? I think we should start with the wash since yeah. wash is like more well known. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so um, get my mug right here. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. So. I think the washed is just like a pretty tasty, um, but not particularly surprising Burundi. Yeah, totally. Uh, like, okay, so the notes, they say stewed, stewed peach. I'm not really sure what that means. I don't know what that honestly. means either. I don't think I've ever had <laughs> stewed peach before. Um, I mean, so kind of sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I mean, if that's what this coffee is supposed to if, if stewed peach tastes like this coffee, then I'm sure I would enjoy it. Um, and <laughs> I then I definitely get the, uh, the the raisin and brown sugar notes that they yeah. missed as well. Um, mm -hmm. And they describe it as having a lush body, a clean finish, and sort of a sparkling acidity, which are all, I think, pretty appropriate. Uh, Gosh, it's so drinkable. I love coffees like this. Yeah, it's very much like, yeah, it's very drinkable. I think you could brew it kind of however. Um it's we're drinking it as a pour over uh we both brewed it as pour over but i think you could do this uh as an espresso or um yeah. i think it would even probably i actually didn't double check to make sure but i think you could do it in a super auto and it'd be pretty good even um oh totally yeah um because it's not too oily the beans aren't too oily um yeah so yeah uh i like I, I really like to, I like to show, sorry, I'm going to pour some out. I brought this little bowl to show the difference in the process. So I'm just going to try to do my best to hold this up to the camera so yeah, you guys yeah. can see the beans. So this is the washed. Oh, gosh. This is yeah. So it's a, you can tell, I mean, again, the video quality isn't perfect, but you can tell it's kind of a, like a um, uh, dry and mm -hmm. um, it's a really, really kind of perfect medium, the roast. Um, so not particularly oily and uh just like perfectly brown um for it has bean. like yeah and like the um the like a, a tell of wash process is the little like chaff in the middle of the bean okay that yeah. little like the blonde part in the middle and so i just think it's interesting to point that out because whenever we try the na i'm sorry i keep calling it natural because the honey um, yeah yeah they're similar honey yeah. uh we can yeah, talk about that in a second like, too Right, yeah. So I just wanted to show that, but we'll we'll get to the the differences in a bit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, that, and that chaff is really hard to pick up if you're watching the video, just because it's just tough to. It's a little like kind of um, tan thing in the middle. Line. It's hard to see. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yes. Um, so with that, let's try the honey process one, which is cool. a little always a little more controversial. See, but like. I think this one's just as amazing. It has like a little bit more of like a dense sweetness to it. Yeah, than the other exactly. One. The notes they use are a little more adventurous on this one too. We've got maple syrup, graham cracker, and cherry cola, um, which are cherry cola. <laughs> cherry cola is a fun tasting cola. note, but I totally see what they were talking about. Um, yes, it's it's mm -hmm. de it's this coffee is like really um, it has that like not fizzy, but like that like little bit of like sweet note right at the tip of your tongue excuse me uh right at the tip of your tongue um that is kind of like what what uh a, a soda tastes like right on the tip of your tongue yeah 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 the way they like describe it is like sparkling acidity right and that's like kind of the effect yeah and will. um and uh 
I think it's also pretty drinkable for the kind of process that it is. I know that honey processed coffees are not always everyone's favorite because mm-hmm. they're a little more a little stronger in flavor. But this one isn't too much of a sweet overload. Um, it's still reasonably balanced, uh, just a little more rich uh, than than the yeah. wash process one. Um, and then, like, so for people who aren't familiar with honey process, it's actually like a mix between. Well, um, natural if you're familiar with natural which is like yeah. the sun dried mm-hmm. and then the wash which is like the mucilage mucilage is taken off with water um and so this one's kind of like halfway in the middle it's like still has some of that like natural characteristics with the um mucilage I'm, I'm probably saying that word totally wrong no i know but what you it's... yeah yeah <laughs> like it's like uh, the, but... it's like the sort of like the flesh of the the uh, yes the cherry the cherry yeah mm-hmm. yeah and so it's still somewhat on there and it kind of actually makes like this honey texture so it's right. super cool and it's not it's not super common like natural and wash are obviously a, to- a lot more common um but i think it is cool to taste one and be like excited about it yeah. i think this this coffee in particular i think the honey in particular would be super interesting as espresso Mm-hmm. Um, totally yeah because of that cherry cola note i think it would be like a dense sweetness that's like perfect and I it's bet it would super taste and amazing. yeah that like richness would come through the kind of syrupy yeah. way that it'll that the espresso uh pulling it as an espresso what it would do to his character is really would be really interesting um and i intend to try it like that at some point soon uh, i just haven't Me had too. a chance to yet um so yeah um and I think, like you said, the the getting the opportunity to kind of try – my favorite thing about these two roasts is you get the opportunity to try them uh, side by side. So I think that if you pick up a bag of both of them, you can really taste the differences between the, the style of processes. Like I know sometimes it's hard to put your finger on what it is about a specific process that you yeah. like or don't like or – want to try more of um and this is a great way to kind of understand that like this is what wash this is what doing as a wash tastes like and this is what doing it as a honey tastes like um and it's just a good coffee either way so you know that you're going to most likely enjoy at least one of the two styles and i would hazard to guess both of them because i think they're yeah they're it's clear they're the same coffee but the process has definitely changed the flavor profile enough to make it interesting so yeah. And like the notes, the notes on these two coffees as well are very, um, like for everyone, like they're yeah. everyone's tasting notes. Like there's nothing that like, I think I would pick up in this and like, oh, I know certain people don't like that taste, you know, like a blueberry taste or something that you would get in a natural. Right. Yeah. It's not like that. It's very just like normal, nice, balanced, sweet, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I was curious. I wanted to ask you, Pat. I was saving mm-hmm. this question for when we started the video. I noticed when I brewed my coffees side by side, the wash came out looking kind of normal, but the honey actually had a little bit of extra um, the sugar on top. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, that it like kind of separates on the top of your coffee. Have you ever noticed that before? You know, I didn't look close enough to tell. Um, yeah. Let me see if I can see any. Yeah, See, check now because right sense. now I still see a little bit. I don't know. I was yeah, just I think, curious. I think I see what you're saying. Yeah. I was holding it up to the light. Uh, and, and I think I see what you're saying. I will say that I did. you do notice the difference in brewing. The um, the honey one for me uh, did have a little bit longer draw time for the water to drain. Um, doing, doing again, both of them as a pour over. It wasn't like extreme, but it was the kind of thing that I would probably spend a little bit more time dialing them cool. in separately um, because they. it's another example of like how – even different coffees can, uh, even the same coffee with different processes can have different needs for brewing them, which is very, uh, an interesting totally. thing too, I think. And and yeah, I think I see a little bit of that separation, and um, that's really cool. I've never even really considered that before. I had never had the yeah, never never noticed it. Because if you look like I, I people, this happens a lot, and like the colder your coffee gets, the more likely you'll be able to see it happen. But like mm-hmm. the sugars will separate in your cup and that's what that's floating at the top and like so that's normal for when it cools because that's the cause of separation but for a coffee like this honey that's fresh brewed and to have that like layer that's how you can tell it's like a really sweet coffee which is cool yeah um so i just that was like one of the first things i noticed from brewing the wash next to the the honey and i was just curious yeah that's cool yes i can totally Mm -hmm. see that and um i think all of that kind of underlines that this is definitely like kind of a nerdy coffee but I don't yeah. know if there's been a better time for 
experimenting Nerding with a nerdy out. coffee, taking an extra 10 totally. minutes of your break time to brew two different ones and try to see all these differences for yourself is like a fun little chemistry experiment in addition to um, your normal coffee brewing. So yeah, I recommend yeah. both of them. I think you should try a bag of both and, um, and, and I'm excited that we were able to do something a little different for this, uh, this tasting. Me too. Yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Now I have two cups of coffee to drink, so yeah. <laughs> even better. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to uh, throw any questions about these coffees below. Um, and remember to uh, hit that subscribe button, like this video, um, and uh, and share it with any of your friends who are also uh, – I know there's a lot of people brewing coffee – from home for the first time yeah. right now. So um, it, we would love to be able to uh, share some of this information with them as well. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, thanks so much, Thanks so much Allie. for watching, guys. Yeah. yeah thanks, Pat. It was good to see you. <laughs> yes, you too. See everybody, everybody later. Everybody stay safe. Bye. Bye.